Hello and welcome to match number 10 of the Lanka Premier League, the fourth edition of the Lanka Premier League. It's the Colombo Strikers who take on the Gaul Titans. A little bit earlier, the coin went into the air and it was the Colombo Strikers who won the toss and they decided that they would field first. Two captains, Hassan Sharnaka, Nirashan Dikvela. Alongside me, Ramiz Raja and Russell Arnold. Ramiz, the Gaul Titans didn't play well in their last encounter. Yeah, I mean, off to a not so bright start here at Candy, but they've got the firepower that led extremely well by Shanika, who's a very good all round cricketer. Shakib provides them with stability with both bat and ball. And, and so, what they need to do is to make sure that they don't make same mistakes again. It's about controlling the controllable. And the fact is that they were pretty ordinary in the last game. Time now to pull up your socks and move ahead. Russell, what about these strikers? They've got some work to do with their fourth and fifth bowler. They do. They need to use them cleverly. Ramesh Mendes didn't bowl, so I was a little surprised with that. But two changes today. They've left out Jeffrey van der Sey and brought in Lakshan Sandakan and also uh, Dananjay Lakshan and brought in the NCC batsman Lahiru Udara. We are now underway. Match number 10. The strikers taking on the Titans by Kumar Dharmasena. A little bit of shape. But that's a lovely way to get off the mark. Just a proper on drive. Again, lovely stroke. Just pushed through the offside for four. Cut away and four. This is a good start for the Titans. Now he goes over mid on. There's real intent here from Daniel. They feel it's time to cash in. Shot. Shot. Hammond absolutely nailed it. And again. And again. Just a touch of width offered. Dropped Barbar Azam with a lazy effort. These are the same mistakes we saw a couple of days ago. Lots of drop catches. Barbar Azam should have swallowed that really. Oh, that's good. That is really good. That's high class. It's just an amazing hit, this. Well, he was put down in the last over. Now it's about cashing in. But the difference today with Cruz Pulle, he's looked a lot more calmer. Oh, I tell you what, they are playing well, these two young men. Over the top, what a shot that is. The boundaries are flying this afternoon. Here's the short ball, but it's waist high. And we'll go all the way for six. Just good batting once again. Trying to go that hard length, slamming it into the surface. Just that waist high delivery. That's not going to trouble too many batters. As powerful as the youngster, easily puts that one away. Goes again. This time it's clever. Deep touch. Gone over the leg side, great use of the feet. And that is huge. The hands through it goes leg side and right out of the screws. It's gone leg side, this is our first chance. Oh, it's another one. Got a hand to it. Checking for the boundary. I think that's six. I think that's gone all the way. Lakshan Sandakan, I thought, was the fielder. Yes. Oh, there we go. Brilliant bowling. Had been looking so good down the ground and then goes to the reverse. Off the gloves, onto the leg stump. Doesn't matter how for the Colombo strikers. 
they will take that first wicket however it comes just dragged it onto the stumps very unfortunate fine innings from uh, lasit cruz pulle oh that's close that is close given and that is a big wicket oh it's gone on to hit the back leg Bang, bang, they've got rid of both set batsmen. Strikers clawing their way back in. Siobhan Daniels, that's a brilliant knock of 49 of 31. 91 for two. Raja Paksa, good use of the feet. It was only a matter of time before he opened his shoulders. Over the offside, Seifert likes the pace on the ball. Oh, he's got this one over deep with wicket up onto the bank. That's a massive blow. In the slot, clearing the front leg and it slot sweeping it for six. They were, they were building a nice base. Having Cypher there for a few balls doesn't matter if he takes his time because he's capable of shots like this. Although it's just a little loose, the change of pace on the leg stump and Cypher gets the inside edge for four. Uh, it's brilliantly fielded. Keeps it to a single, nine runs from that over from Patirana. 134 for two. Fielded. Will they get back for two? This should be the end of Cypher, and it will be the end of Cypher. Confusion in the middle, and that's exactly what the strikers needed. Yeah, the deals have been disclosed by the Bigger keeper's gloves before the ball being contact with the stumps. I have a decision for the giant screen. Well, a big break for the Titans. Got it again. Just a little too full. A little bit too full. Just a touch. Seifert goes at 156 and Raja Paksa goes at 160 strike rate. So that bodes well for these last four overs. Just like that. Ooh. What a shot that was. Laced. Laced through extra cover for four. Oh, yes. He is a dangerous, dangerous player, this man. And when he strikes him, inevitably he hits them out the ground. Yeah, when he's uh, thinking of uh, fours and sixes, as a bowler, you cannot miss your length. Otherwise, you'll be punished like that. Oh, no. Error in the field. Yet another one. And it brings up the 50 for Tim Seifert of just 33 deli 30 deliveries, excuse me. Bowled him. It's lost his leg stump. It hasn't been the most fluent of innings from Rajapaksa. Found the line, found the land. No answer from the batsman. Good contribution though from uh, Raja Baksha. Scored 30. It's 178 for three. Through extra cover and four. That's belted. Charnaka wants two. Seifert will settle for one. You've got to give it to them. The strikers, they, uh, they came back well after the early onslaught. 
but you can't help feeling that the Gaul Titans will feel very satisfied with 188 for three after their 20. Well, the strikers, they will want to prevent the Gaul Titans from going well clear at the top of the table. And in order to do that, they'll need 189 when we return. Well, quality through the leg side, by no means a half volley. Goes again, the sign through the offside. Back-to-back -back boundaries. You like what? Absolutely joyous watch. Slow delivery too, that gets past short, fine leg. That's three in a row. Just like that. Straight through the line and all the way for six. Easily done. I was just trying to understand where Patum was as a, as a batter. He was struggling. So what I felt was with Barber going well, that he'll just look to settle in, but he's capable of shots like this. Yeah, it's a good sweep shot. No man back on the boundary. Nisanka has started aggressively. Another one into the gap. Nisanka cutting loose. Oh, open the face of the bat. That's four. Brings up the 50. Fielder in the deep. Over him. Just over Kiladan Anje. So that's a six. 100th tournament six. What a good one it is from Babar Azam. Straight to him indeed, Frankie. But needed Ingarava to be there. Not Akila Dananje. Last ball of the power play. All Titans had 67. The end of six. Columbus strikers not too far behind. They get 63 for no loss at the end of six. Just out of reach. That's it hard down the ground and four. Oh, he's found a hole. Yeah, he's found a gap in the field. He's found four. But he wants to. He wants to. Nasanka's going to have to go. Good running. Good running, it would have needed a direct hit, there wasn't. And so Baba Azam goes to yet another 50 in T20 cricket. Superstar of a player, Baba Azam. 50s all around the world. Little Missfield, Little Missfield takes Patil Nasanka to 50 as well. And just for the eighth time in LPL history, do both openers go past that milestone? Starts off with a short one. He's got the gap. Batum Nisanka controls it very nicely. Fielder in the deep. And straight in. He holds on to it. It's Shevon Daniel. And Shamsi gets the breakthrough. Very good catch in the end because it's almost fumbled and uh, got out of his class. But in the end, Shamsi there thanking the stars. He somehow got a wicket from nowhere. So partnership broken. Nisanka played exceedingly well for his 54 and triple one for one. Tosta Babur takes him on and gets all of it. 
that's a massive blow. It's down on a knee. It swaps it into the stands. Goals again. Another six. Babarazan now the leading run scorer in the competition, so he will flick the green cap from King Seifert, who got it earlier in the day. 3-3 now, 39 balls, couple of smashes. He knows that he can be dictated to Akela. This is just smart betting for me. Hitting with the breeze, hitting to the shorter side of the ground. That could be four. He's timed it nicely. Kasun Rajita can't get there. This is wonderful batting from Barbarazan. Oh, nicely hit, nicely hit. Goes all the way. Another six for Barbarazan. Absolutely brilliant. Picked the slow one, the off cutter. Paused just for a little while and hit it so sweetly. Just the ability to hold your shape through that shot. Magnificent. Mid on. Can't get to it. It's gone for six. Barbarazan. again a little fingertip and four to the name of Baba Razam as he heads into the 90s goes straight chance in the deep and taken so Shamsi does have a wicket now the googly it is very good bowling rather than going down straight or over extra cover still wanted to fetch it to the leg side is that the little opening to the door for the titans nuanidu out for eight 166 for two he's found the boundary he's got a hundred baba razam that is a sensational innings in a very difficult run chase he is a great player a great of the game not just in the shortest format. All white ball cricket and in the toughest of all, the Test Match Arena. And here we go now. There's a serious twist in this tail because Baba Azam has hold out. Does like to use his power to the leg side. That is very good bowling. And safe as houses. Shakib al -Hassan. but he deserves a, a big round of applause, Baba Azam. Fabulous innings, under pressure, and a big run chase. And he almost got his side there. It's now 14 off five. And there's the crowd rising to celebrate and congratulate one of the world's greats. I must be thinking where 104 Baba Azam full toss opportunity in the deep surely no no it's gone all the way how's he hit that for six Kasun Rajata blinks Nawaz doesn't four required of two went after that full toss kept going and that should bring a lot of relief to the batters. Four required. He's only going to need one ball. He's only going to need one ball. Mohammed Nawaz of Pakistan takes the Colombo strikers over the line and they win by seven wickets in an absolute hundinger. Great hit that was. That's the first time he's come straight into the arc and the placement was perfect he doesn't bother coming back for two because he knows the timing was good enough the placement was spot on and you can see what it means to that dugout they are delighted 
And they are now back into this competition. But that is where we sit in match number 10, right down till the end with 14 needed. And it was the Colombo Strikers who got up and win this match by seven wickets.